Welcome back. Last time, we learned about honor and how honoring God leads to honoring others. In just a second, we're gonna jump back into our story, but I want you to pay really close attention because Master Silas is gonna be putting Tia through a little test that's pretty interesting. And I want you to see if you can figure out the lesson that he's trying to teach her. Where's your friends? Oh, that's right, you're a dork. Would you knock it off? You're like a Barbie with the frown. Look, just leave me alone, okay? Tia, see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Tia, see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. I said stop it, I mean it. Ooh, she means it. Shut your pie hole, you loser. Tia, that's not how we speak to people. I'm sending you to the principal's office, now. <laughs> Great, I got in trouble again. I do not know why you let him get to you like that. He's just trying to get underneath your skin. Yeah, well it works, okay? and look where it's gotten you. Hey, I've got enough people on my case. I don't need you to. I don't even want to think about telling mom and dad. Okay, then don't. At least not yet anyways. Come in with me. You're really gonna do this? Uh, yeah, and you should too. Might give you something to fight besides Carver. Come on, come in with me. You know you want to. Fine. You're late. We are? I thought you said four. Yes. You're late. By like one minute, that doesn't even count. On my time, everything counts. Come, let us begin. Great! What's first? Oh, oh, you should show us some of those kicks you do. Wow, that's lame. You're late, young man. Late? What's he doing here? He comes to see if he has what it takes, much like both of you. Look, I'm just here for Darius. Leave me out of this. Don't listen to her, she's just scared. Of what? You? Hardly. Yeah, you know when a fight I'd win every time. Would not. Would too. Whatever. Tia, just ignore him. He's just being a loser. Ha, I'm the loser? You're the one wearing your brother's hand-me-downs. You leave him alone. Really? Just go away. Why do you have to be such a jerk? Get out. Hey man, does your face hurt? Cause it's so ugly it's killing me. Stop it! Tia, just ignore him. It's not a big deal. Aw, isn't that sweet? You need little loser girl over here to stick up for you? Leave Darius alone. If you got a problem with me, you keep it about me, okay? Like I'd listen to you. Get out! Really? You're kicking us out. We just got here. In my school, you respect the master, and you begin by respecting others. What does that have to do with anything? Fine, I'm out of here. Please, Master Silas, let us stay. We can ignore him. You are the man. He said get out, that means you. No, this means you, just you. Really? You're kicking me out. What did I ever do to you, old man? You and I are finished. Get out now. Look, old man, we just got off on the wrong foot. You need to lighten up. I said get out. Fine, I will. Tia, see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Now let's begin. Wait a minute, why did you do that? Yeah, why did you do that? Because you do not yet know how to stand for yourself. You will learn. We will? How? Yeah, I gotta hear this. Remember what you have already learned. Apply it. Honoring your master means honoring others. Honoring others means honoring your master. Yeah, you said that last time. But you also have to respect yourself. 
Uh, didn't you hear Tia going off on him? Sounded to me like she respects herself a lot. Respect yourself enough to control yourself. Do not let anyone else take away your ability to choose. Yeah, I don't get it. He who angers you controls you. You must never give yourself away. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Besides, we're here to learn how to fight. So when are you going to teach us some of your moves? Anyone can be angry at an enemy. Real strength doesn't give in too easily. Follow me. If you follow instruction, there will be a great reward. Each of you, up. Uh, you want us to stand on these? If you follow instruction, there will be a great reward. Fine. Find your balance. You must focus. Higher. Do not let anything shake you. Hey, why did you do that? You let others take away your strength, Tia. They make a lot of noise, but it is you who choose where to place your focus. This is new to you. You will learn. Yeah, well, I'm beginning to think this is a waste of time. And what do you think? Uh, I don't know. Think about what I have said. If you would like, you may come back tomorrow. Now we bow to show respect to your master, to others, and to yourself. Come on, Darius, let's go. Is Master Silas for real? You heard what Carver said, who wouldn't get mad? I know, anyone would have lost it back there. Whoa, maybe that's what Master Silas meant. Anyone can lose it when punks like Carver try to get the best of them. Maybe respecting yourself as knowing what others say doesn't change you, you know? Well, maybe. I still don't know if I buy it. Look, I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going back? I, I don't know. We'll see. I hate to see you give up. I was looking forward to seeing you bust a move. Yeah, well, if I looked anything like I did today, I'm definitely going to need some help. Not you, though. You were amazing. Thanks. It's so easy sometimes to let other people gain control of our emotions, isn't it? I remember when I was growing up, my parents would always tell me, Nick, you have to learn how to take control of your emotions. And I thought it was really interesting that Master Silas challenged Tia to respect herself when Carver was the one who was disrespecting her. But think about it. When you respect yourself, you care way less about what other people are saying because you know who you are. And once you respect yourself, then you learn to care for yourself. And once you respect and care for yourself, then that overflows into you caring and respecting other people. Jesus talked about this in Matthew 22, when he was speaking to a group of religious leaders and he was trying to explain what the greatest commandments were. He says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all of your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. That goes back to honoring God. And then he says, the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. You see, when we honor God, respect ourselves and respect others, we can see that we are actually fulfilling the two greatest commandments. But doesn't that make sense? I mean, how much less drama would there be in the world if people learned to care for others like they were caring for themselves? Now, I know that's easy to say and way harder to do. Just like when Tia was doing a great job standing on that post until she got distracted. The same thing can happen in our lives. I mean, have you ever been really focused on your relationship with God and you're growing in your understanding of Him and who you are in Him and you're doing your best to care for others when suddenly something or someone gets you distracted? Here's the deal. You may have been knocked down, but you can get back up. God wants you to respect yourself, to be respected, and to learn to respect others.